Hello, welcome to another tutorial by Dan Allen, Dan Allen Bouncy Castle. Welcome YouTube and Mr. Fox. Today we're just going to be taking a look at the visual effect from my most recent short film in which this wizard, he's not very wizard looking as such, but he casts a spell that starts off as this kind of these magical lines that work together to build this energy ball and then the ball blasts out and we get this cool looking effect and I was just going to briefly cover how I created some of these effects we just zoom in the area we're just going to use the command plus key just so we can see it a little bigger Now, there are actually quite a few layers involved, as you can see in our timeline. But the bottom line is we started off with our piece of footage, which is a 1080p of the T2i. And then we added in some particles. Now, this is really easy to create. Um, for a lot of these layers, I'd recommend going over, checking out some of the video copilot tutorials mainly because they're helpful with some basic techniques like this whole effect isn't from video copilot obviously but some of the techniques involved in just creating this really simple particle system which as you can see is very simple and basically where I want the blast to start which is about here about 20 frames in that's where the uh, birth rate starts and then I cut off the birth rate cut off the birth rate about um, three frames after it starts and then added in a few more particle layers. You can see these ones are smaller. There's more of them. So just increase the birth rate. But again, don't make the birth rate last. And then there's the main particle system, which is bigger and has a more intense velocity. In fact, if we just take a look at this layer, you can see that the velocity is much higher. So 2.2 and with an explosive setting. And the other effects, which you can start to see if you're familiar with After Effects, is quite basic. It's just a, an effect called Vector Blur, which just adds this nice, nice kind of stringy effect that that kind of blurs different areas into one another. Really cool. We turn it off, you can see that we've just got these squares, and it turns it into this more organic looking effect. In fact, how I've used it isn't too organic, um, because I wanted to create these kind of lightning style waves. And they've all got a slight amount of vector blur each layer, and the smaller, smallest particles actually have a glow on them as well. Then there was just that layer again, so the big particle layer. What we did, we just duplicated it and put it over the top and changed the angle a bit, and did that a few times. This time we scaled it up a bit until we just had this cool looking energy blast that kind of disperses. The, the shot doesn't even go on for too long, it's only about second and a little bit then there's this kind of ripple it's a circle basically um, we just create a new solid with um, some circle masks and just scale it up over time and just make sure the feathering on the inside is much smoother and then there's also an inner circle if we turn it on you can see that afterwards there's then a smaller circle here you can start to see it around here and then that expands after the first one just so you get this kind of like double effect then I added what is in fact the bulk of the effects now the way I tackled these was I wanted them to feel organic it's quite hard to make a magical blast seem realistic you can see throughout the Harry Potter films they actually tone down the magical blasts so that they can seem more real and more believable so what I did I took organic elements like the firecracker which is from the action essentials and I added lots of effects to it so we just go back over to the shot you can see that we've got this cool firecracker that's been turned into this kind of circular spirally thing so Obviously there's lots of colour corrections done to this, I've enhanced it, I've taken out a lot of the blacks. They're pre-keyed which is really handy. 
and this CC radial blur is the main part of it. So I've colorized it to blue. You can see I've colorized it with a hue and saturation, and then this radial blur that's set to scratch is um, with the center obviously being center here. One of the things that I had to do was keyframe the effect because obviously his hand moves throughout, but it was only a little up position. If it had gone more in depth than that and was moving quite a bit more, then I would have pre-composed the spell effect and um, applied it to a null object that would be tracked to the hand, but that was not necessary in this case. And then I just added some more firecrackers, like the spark effects, and this one was like wasn't quite as blurred, and it gives you this really cool. You can see how this is starting to look quite like a nice effect, and even for a still image effect, is it's looking nice. Um, and then there was a white solid just to blur it all together. Um, you can see without the white solid, it looks a bit rough in the middle, and it's just a white circle really. That's a solid layer. And then there was just some more, and it was literally a matter of putting more and more layering it up. And then obviously you've got the main lines, which is these lines that sort of draw around. Um, and check out the Video Copilot write-on tutorial. Um, I used the same effect in my Harry Potter spell tutorial, just to create these build-up lines, I quite like them. And then you just add some more of them and eventually you've got all these nice lines that are all moving around. You can try and make them look like they're spiraling, spiraling around the hand. I would have perhaps made that priority, but it wasn't possible in the 48 hours we had to make the film. And then just some basic colour correction. And then you get this nice final shot that's full of the particles, the lights, the circles, and the key part which really makes the effect are these spark elements that get um, blurred together using the CC radial blur to create this really organic feeling effect and I did the same thing for the um, effect where he gets hit I'm not sure where that is it's not there but um, yeah so I hope this was interesting I know this wasn't as in-depth but I just wanted to go over some of the techniques and the main thing to take away is try using real elements and adding effects as a starting point you can see there's only so far that these particles and vector blurs will take you and then adding this radial blur is just really adds to it I think so thank you for watching and I'll be back with some more tutorials very soon